Hi friends, welcome to Vijay Tech 360. In this video, we are going to see about the consumption based model, capital expenditure and operational expenditure. So these three terms are very important. Let's see about the uh, consumption based model. The first one will be like uh, the cloud service providers will uh, make use of this consumption based model. So how much ever you are going to use them resources like uh, server or computer or storage or anything. So you are going to pay for only for that. So there are many benefits by using this type of model, like there is no friend needed so no you need not to pay any advances so uh, you are only uh, how much uh, how many hours you are using you are paying uh, you are paying only for that uh, that much of time so it depends on the services uh, like uh, see if you want uh, some sort of uh, reservation capacities then you go and go for upfronts for a huge uh, discounts but it is not mandatory to pay an upfront or a advanced payment so that is the main advantages of consumption based model and the second one is like you need not to purchase and manage costly infrastructure that you may or may not use it fulfilled. I it, what does it mean like see you need not to purchase a physical servers or you, ne, you may not purchase a, a big storages all these types you need not to buy uh, physically someone will buy and you are making use of them and uh, based on your usage you will pay for only that the third one will be the ability to pay for additional resource if and when they are needed so you are going to pay an additional charges only when you are going to use an additional resource that's what it means and the ability to stop paying for resource that they are no longer used so imagine you had buy a physical server and you kept in your data center what if it is not usable i mean uh, that server is not using what you will do you need to uh, put it as an uh, beside so there is no use of that physical server or you need to uh, 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 send uh, sell with a 50 percent of discount to some other or 75 percent to some other there is a waste of money but he, when it comes to consumption based model you will uh, you need not to pay for what you are not using so you will pay only for what you are using so that's what the main advantages of consumption based model let's see the two terms what is capital expenditure and operational expenditure these two terms are very important in azure or any cloud service provider so organization can sign up for the services from cloud service provider like aws azure or gcp or ibm to get up and i mean to get the resource running and uh, so for that these two models are there one is the capital expenditure where you are going to spend money on a physical infrastructure upfront like you are going to buy a physical uh, infrastructure and that you are going to use them and the capital expenditure is an upfront cost which has a value that reduces over time means you are going to buy that physical servers or storage uh, at, uh, at present and you are going to use them for a long period which means that you are going to reduce your cost for a over time like some in future you may not spend that much of expenses how you are spending right now so that's what the capital expenditure means and the next one is you can detect this expense over a time as an asset and uh, you, because you are going to buy a physical infrastructure and the upfront cost will be very high next we will see about the operational expenditure there is a spending of money on a service or a product now and you are going to bill for them now itself like if you are using a virtual machine for an one hour and the bill will be generated for that one hour in your monthly bill so or yearly bill it, it depends on the cloud service vendor and there is no upfront required because you are going to pay for a service or a product as you use it and these bills will be generated for every month or year it depends on the cloud service vendor and you can uh, direct these expenses for a uh, for your uh, tax billing in a same year like you, you had spent this infrastructure cost and you can show them for a tax billing in the same year like so that's the difference between the capital expenditure and the operational expenditure the simple term is like capital expenditure you are buying a physical infrastructure and you are investing lot of money on the physical infrastructure when it comes to operational expenditure it is very simple you you are paying for what you are using and uh, there is no upfront here that is the main advantages of operational expenditure and depends on your uh, application the you can choose any of them like if you have a long term plan and uh, you are sure about your application will be uh, for some 10 years 20 years like that then you can go for a capital expenditure simply if your application is like testing or developing or something then you can go for an op uh, operational expenditure where you can uh, utilize their resource for an hours or a days or a weeks so that's the difference i hope it helps you thank you